Hey guys, Mr. Pops it here. Don't forget to check out Mr. Pops it Fishing. It's my new channel and it kind of helps the whole brand grow and it actually helps this channel too. So if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe on Mr. Pops it and Mr. Pops it Fishing. Thanks for popping. Hey guys, Mr. Pops it here. We have a very common occurrence that we see, hydronitis superativa in the axilla. And you can see some scar tissue here, a recent inflammatory, deep inflammatory nodule here that has um, started to heal, but there's still some inflammation behind it. But these black heads that we see here, we want to go through and kind of unclog these, and that will help those pores be able to release sebum correctly. And that kind of starts the inflammatory process sometimes when, with these occluded pores. So if we can get the occlusion out and get that black head out, then the uh, axilla kind of works the way it's supposed to in secreting you know, sweat and sebum. And we hope to not get so many inflammatory areas that can then turn into permanent scar. So this is the left axilla, and then we'll do the right axilla as well. Then we just kind of express some of these out. Some of them will have little pockets of keratin behind them, and some of them will just be blackheads. But it's good to do this every now and then. Um, it just kind of helps keep it clear so we don't get as many of these inflammatory nodules. Okay, guys, this is the um, left axilla. You can see we have a couple keratin pockets here. We'll do just a little expression with an 11 blade. And when we pull, we can see some of these blackheads. So we're going to get her cleared out today. And the armpits are going to have not as many of these little blackheads. The real tiny ones are sometimes hair follicles. But the bigger ones here, we'll be able to get out for her. And she's going to feel a lot better. And hopefully have less inflammatory nodules in the future and less permanent scars. So as we know with hydrotonitis, it is uh, not something we cure but something we control by releasing blackheads being on the right medications and hopefully it leads to less scarring okay guys mr popsy here we have her prepped um sanitized here with hippoclins and we're going to go through on the bigger ones here first you can use q-tips on this but the skin is pretty loose so generally we will come in with a finger squeeze if we can sometimes they're just right at the surface and the q-tip is needed if they're kind of dried out in there, which these ones look to be a little bit dry. We'll loosen it just a smidge more. There we go. Sometimes you can pull them out, you see there, with the needle. Just like that. And that might be what we have to do because they're kind of adherent in the pore. Let me know if the pinch is too much, okay? This one here. Pretty adherent there. Got it. This one here is a little pocket. Got a little finger squeeze there. That's a pretty good plug down deep in there. And you'll see the oxidization or oxidization here, right there. And then down deeper, it's a little bit more moist with keratin. So that's a perfect example of like a deep plug there. Squeeze all the way to the base and pinch that out. And that's good. See if we can get that. There we go. Sometimes you literally have to grab these with the needle and kind of press them or pull them out. Pretty good. Sometimes there'll be dried hairs in there too. Let's see on this one here, a little pocket. There we go. Just a little bulb right down in there. There it is. Very good. Okay, some of these are just little hair follicles and just barely starting. We really don't mess too much with those because there's not much to get out. Medium-sized ones we can here, but these are just a little plug and then they go down when you try to squeeze them. So I pick my battles, usually wait for them to get a little bit bigger. 
really pop that out. That's good. Put that on there. See how these pores kind of connect to each other there. Little pain there, sorry. Yeah, I feel that one. Yeah, that was a. I have to sometimes cut the pore a little just to get it out. And it goes out both sides here. Very good. Got it. There's some scar tissue in that one, probably why you felt that a little. That's good. There it is. And we'll come here. This is a little one here. Little squeeze. You can see the same thing, the keratin, moist keratin at the bottom and the dry oxidized um, blackhead at the top. Let's see down lower here. There's a little clog here. You can see some of these are like a little coin purse. They go sideways, not deep. Just like that little pocket there. So if you grab those, you can roll those out usually. Just like that. Same with that one. Little finger pad squeeze and we can get those out. Very good. Here, let me pull the skin. Some of these are almost like little hair follicles. That one may have a hair in it here. Good. Double. Same thing. Just got to disrupt that pore. And you can grab here. And a little pressure. Very good. Get that nice dry plug out. Now a lot of what you're seeing here is just barely just hair follicles with a little bit behind them. We can't get every one of those. But you can see the ones that have a little bit. Sorry, a little pressure. The ones that have keratin there. Just like that. So that's a pretty good pocket there. Hopefully not too painful, just uncomfortable. Don't, okay. We're getting a lot of good plugs out, so. There's a plug right there. That's kind of... Good, there we go. Got that. So these are looking good. Most of these are hairs. This is just drying up from her having some inflammation recently. Okay. I think we're good to go to the other side. We got most of the big ones there. Most of these are hairs. And she does have a couple bigger ones on the other side. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is the other side here. Couple little keratin pockets here. A little kind of poke right there to make an exit for that. And then we can grab these pockets and they squeeze out. Sometimes there's a rolled up hair. Sometimes it's just a couple pores that got together. Had a sebum party. <laughs> there you go. You can see that. That was like three pores all together. Got a good chunk out of there. So that's something like that can turn into a cyst eventually when they're that big. Here's another one here we're going to get to. Well, this will be a little poke. Sorry, okay? You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. I didn't have any opening. No. Nah. Well, it might at the edge there. You can kind of see two pores there and one up there, but... That one, sorry. <laughs> that one just squirted a little. There we go. Might have gone on the camera. <laughs> so that's like a little follicular cyst. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got quite a bit out on that one lately. <laughs> Just a little bit more here. Let's 
So that's like a little cyst in there. Quite full. But now you can see that's retracted a lot. There we go. We got a lot out of that one. Hopefully not too painful. But that should deflate that. That could have turned into one of those inflammatory bumps for sure. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was that the most painful so yeah. far? Yeah. There's quite a bit of keratin in there. Now it's almost indented there. So that looks good. Sometimes we'll do even a little injection of Kenalog in there if we need to, but that one looks, it wasn't real inflamed to begin with, and that looks like it's almost indented with how much was in there. So here. There we go. It's just such a sensitive area to put a lot of pressure on, but you're doing great. Go the other way now, the top and the bottom. Two pores. You see that commonly with hydronitis. We'll open that pore a little. Pull it out the other side. Okay. Okay. Come up here. sides. There we go. A lot of oxidized tissue there. We'll go on the other side. So we got both sides of those two pores. We empty that pocket. Two nice blackheads there. You can see that pore. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Good. There we go. Very good. Hand squeeze, very focused. That's good to get that cleared out. Good. Okay. That looks great. Coming across right here. There we go. Nice little plug there. Is it all like going into there? Got it. I took one off me and seven too. Or six. And six. Got that one right here. Okay, almost done. Maybe one more. Let me just check here. Um, I would say probably 30 total. I don't feel any deeper pockets either. Okay. I try the Power Rangers. Let me just, there's just the bigger ones down there, and we're done. These are small ones. Look, it got on the phone. I know. <laughs> they always pop sometimes on the bigger ones. No worries. We're used to it. <laughs> I probably just like, ugh. <laughs> We're so used to it. Doesn't bother us. See, that one goes all the way through those two pores. There we go. Got it. Coming out on its own. So here we just want to roll that in between the fingertips. Pull that plug out. And then the other side. Perfect. Um, I would do four weeks and we'll kind of check, yeah. Make sure she's stable. Yeah, that's fine. So we probably won't need to do any. We got pretty much all the ones that easily come out that are big enough to be pushed on for the most part. Okay, I don't feel any other deep pockets. One more black 
head there. oxidized on top. Perfect. Okay. That looks good. Okay. So we got that those clear right there. And this isn't, you know, because of too much deodorant, anything like that. This is just normal dead skin and oils that uh, accumulate in that part of the body and in those pores and large pores because of the inflammation because of hydronitis. It's just like a deeper pocket that's able to be filled. So some of those do turn into inflammatory nodules. Some will turn into cysts. Um, so keeping that clear, it's just kind of like um, opening up the freeway, basically. When you're on an on-ramp and there's 25 cars, things aren't moving, things can get backed up and that can cause issues. When we kind of open this up, it's like getting on the freeway with no stoplight or anything and just go. So that should help her feel less, you know, especially when she's sweating, things like that. It can build up because you can't sweat out of those pores and it kind of, you can feel it. It gets irritated, itchy sometimes. So she should do great. Um, thanks for sharing her procedure and thanks for popping by guys.